All right, this is the power supply out of that um, Canon printer that I took apart. And it's kind of a funny power supply. It is uh, 24 volts at one amp, DC, um, and it's a sealed unit. So I guess they could pop these in and out. Uh, it has just an AC cord and a DC connection. And um, let's see, it's good from, let's see, input. Um, 100 to 240 volts. So it's international, so I don't know why you need to pop these in and out. But anyway, it's made by Delta Electronics. Um, I've heard of them before. So I think what we'll do is we'll open it up and see what kind of, uh, what kind of circuit they use. It's a switcher, it's real light. And uh, see, what we, uh, see what we have gained in knowledge of switching power supplies and see if we can uh, decipher this one. All right, uh, what can we see inside? So the first thing, is uh, look for the input. So this is the input. Uh, it attaches in an interesting way. It's not attached to the PC board directly, it has wires. Um, but we can kind of just see like every single switcher is about the same way. There's always an input um, common mode choke on the input. And there is one here. And then we can see this big block here and there's four pins on it. So uh, that must be a uh, voltage bridge, a diode bridge, R1, R2, and a little capacitor there, uh, which is a safety to capacitor, ground to ground, looks like. Um, oh, that is, that is a funny package. This is the uh, bridge diode here. This is the bridge diode right here. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. This is R1, R2, so it's resistors. I, I, I don't know what that is. It's a, maybe it's an inrush current or something. I don't know what that part is. Uh, very strange. Okay, well, we learned something. Uh, so it goes in, it gets rectified onto this big capacitor here. Um, and then uh, here's the switching FET. Uh, let's see if we can find Here's the IC on the bottom that does everything. All that's where all the magic happens. Does the uh, the switcher for the uh, for the FET here. Uh, here is the optocoupler that feeds the uh, signal back in. And here is a big uh, big transformer to uh, change the uh, voltages. Uh, here's a big diode on the output and the capacitor and yeah it's all basically every single supply is going to look basically the same except for this fits and has a weird thing in the front so yeah we might want to figure that one out someday uh see if we can read the uh part number on the fet here that's a k3567 whatever that is and any other markings on this thing here's some part numbers it's not really telling me what's going on there. A lot of stuff on the bottom. Let's see. Well, there's quite a few components for, for the bottom side, I would say. Uh, let's see if we can read that guy here. He is a. Oh man, I can just barely read him. 1219A? Don't know what that is. That's just a switching controller. And there's a little guy there. I wonder if he's a 321. A three, TL321? Three, two, Might be. Oh, maybe that's in there. Yeah. This is the TL431. And uh, I don't know what that little guy is there. Probably just a, uh, probably just a, a bipolar. There's the safety cap between the grounds. Talk to, oops, sorry. That's the safety cap between the grounds. That's the TL 431. The optocoupler to feed things back around. Um, little guy here. He might be a uh, voltage regulator, or yeah, he's not. He's a 2N5551. So just another. 
Another transistor in the circuit. There you go. Well, I'll throw it in my pile of uh, power supplies I'll probably never use, but uh, still really curious about that. It's across the uh, across the AC input, and it's marked R1, R2. So anybody knows what that might be, give me a shout out. I don't know if it's um, it's across the input. That's very strange. That's very strange. I can't quite read this big fat capacitor is in the way, <laughs> otherwise I try to read him. I don't know, he looks like it might be a capacitor. It's marked R1, R2, but he looks like a safety, I think one of those X, X2 capacitors. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, this thing here is a fuse. Yeah, that's a, that's just a uh, two amp fuse. So safety third. All right. So fuse, weird, weird resistor thingy capacitor. I don't know what that thing is. I would imagine it was a some type of EMI type of stuff, but I just don't recognize it. It seems weird to have it labeled R1, R2. Oh. Maybe you could put there, yeah, that's probably it. You could put an R1, R2 on there if you wanted to, but they didn't. And they just had the capacitor. So yeah, it's just a capacitor across the, uh, across the input. So it's uh, part, of, part of this thing, two capacitors to ground and a common mode choke. So that's all that is. All right, figured that one out. So we know all of that, know all that, we know that, we know that, we know all of that. Yeah, it's all common stuff, all common, common stuff. Everybody copies from the brother. All right, there's a box that's going to go join its brethren. That's all power supplies there, waiting for a project someday.